god fortsättning säger man på svenska. Uh, but today I will speak in English. Uh, I hope you don't mind. It's the last Sunday of 2010. And uh, I want to speak about the, the quiet revolution of the human heart. Uh, the last revolution of humanity which is connected with uh, uh, our ongoing uh, original divine principle seminars so important the technique is not so important the heart is more important isn't it uh, Anyway, um, to follow God's will is not always easy. People who have dedicated their lives to do that, uh, they had to endure many unexpected events in their lives. Jesus, for example, certainly he didn't expect to go the way of the cross. When he started his mission, he talked a lot about the kingdom of heaven. And all the disciples around him, surely they, you know, they expected that very urgently it would come. However, it didn't turn out like that. Father Moon also, he attracted a lot of followers in North Korea. And they were very excited. But suddenly he, he had to go into the labor camp in uh, the communist... Uh, <coughs> there and uh, not so many actually could stand with him at that time because it was completely unexpected so at such situations your faith your faith is tested to the limit and at that moment how how will you overcome that situation if you go to prison how will you uh, be able to continue. So a lot depends on your heart and your attitude. That will decide whether you will win or lose. And actually, a uh, little bit, I, I want to speak about this because I, uh, about a month and a half ago, there was a, uh, you know, this talk show, Skavlan, you know this? You, do you follow this sometimes? It's Norwegian. He has a talk show here, you know, and he had one guest. And uh, today, I think in uh, in England, you call this Boxing Day you know, today. Yeah. Why? Why do they call it Boxing Day? You don't, nobody knows. Huh? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, this this uh, one of the guests was this boxer. He was a famous boxer. His name was. Um, Rubin Carter, and they call him the Hurricane. And his his life is quite, you know, a testimony to this how you can overcome difficult situations. So he was he was uh, a boxer on the world level. I think he was ranked number two in his weight class in the 1960s in the world. And then he was convicted for a triple murder, which he didn't do. So he had to he had to endure like more than 20 years in prison, innocent. And uh, anyway, now he's 72 or 73 years old, and he appeared on that show. And, you know. Anyway, I would come back to that. But also, it sh it shows uh, you know that somehow. Uh, Things happen which you don't expect, um, and which is unfair. Uh, this is usually the situation for people who are trying to do the good things, then unfair things happen. Yeah? This is uh, somehow the process of the restoration of the human heart. Uh, and many times we, we want quick results. Uh, yeah? You don't want to do, you know, go the extra mile. 
Yeah, you 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 want to take the shortcut to have the victory as soon as possible. Uh, but the restoration of uh, man's relationship with God and the reparation of the human heart has not been fast. It has been slow, extremely slow, I would say. And it's been a rocky road, often filled with tears and pain, both for God and for man. So, actually looking at this, we can, we can think about what is important in our lives. No? What gives us as human beings a certain status? You know? It's important to have status? Do you think so? Maybe everybody wants that. Yeah? You don't want to be looked down upon. Well, in Sweden they, they make a, a yearly poll about what is status in Sweden, you know, according to Swedish people. Every year they make it. Now this was just this uh, this article was just published yeah, a week ago. It says snällhet van över du teknik. It means like kindness won over expensive technique. Yeah? Yeah. So it was better to be kind than to buy and have you know like flashy technical things. Yeah? That's why I say technique is not so important. Yeah? It's, it's more important to have a good heart, and to be kind to people, and to serve people. Uh, well, that, that may maybe not the whole truth, but I, I will tell you the top five uh, values which were in this poll. So the first one was uh, to have a good general knowledge. In Sweden we say Alman building. Uh, the second was to be skilled in your job. Okay. The third was to be a dedicated and good parent. The fourth was to be kind. And the fifth was to be fluent in many languages. <laughs> okay. So, so there were many values, but these were the top five, according to this poll. And they interviewed more than a thousand people. So, uh, so how shall we understand or evaluate such a, you know, such a result? Well, looking at it from a more spiritual point of view, we can say that at least two out of these top five values are right on the target. Well, to be a dedicated and good parent, and to be kind. Because these two, I would say, are related to the development or the restoration of the human heart. So, after the fall, God was always looking for uh, man, to f how, how man can come back to him. But as we said, this, this road was filled with tears. And uh, it has been a suffering path for all those pioneers to try to open, you know, to try to open uh, new chapters in uh, human history. So we know all, all these people who actually could, could make a turning point, make it to a turning point. And it started with Jacob and Esau. It's two brothers who were hating each other and could finally meet again and embrace each other. Then it developed with uh, Joseph, who was uh, the younger brother, and he had the ten older brothers who became jealous of him, and they sold him as a slave to Egypt. That was also, you know, very unexpected. Huh? 